I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, this is a pathology lab, not a fruit stand. Why is Dr. Manarsik showing us pictures of grapes? Well, they may look like grapes because they're very cystic, they're very smooth, they're very thin-walled, and they're all over the place. But what if I told you this was a placenta? Or maybe we looked at the parts of the placenta like this, and you could still appreciate some sort of spongy cystiness, cystic, cysticosity to it, but you didn't see the uh, spongy grapes like you see here and here and here and here as nicely as you did in your other specimen. Well, whenever you see a placenta in which the villi look like grapes, you can call it a mole because that's what they are. Moles aren't too common. In parts of Asia and other third, in some third world areas, they're about 10 times more common than we are here. And histologically, a grape, a mole, is exactly like a normal villus, only it's tremendously dilated with fluid. It's like a villus that's been bloated up. See, this is almost like your normal classic textbook villus. You have the uh, syntrophoblast on the outside, this pinker stuff, and the cytotrophoblast on the inside. And sometimes what I refer to as syntrophoblast is really called syncytiotrophoblast because if you look at the nuclei, within syncytio trophoblast. They are often multiple like giant cells. They are syncytio. So here's the syncytio trophoblast and the looser stuff on the inside is the cytotrophoblast. Notice how this looks like all water. So whenever you see a placenta that looks like grapes, you can call it a mole and moles are benign. And the malignant counterpart of a mole would be a choriocarcinoma. Uh, the thing I want to, last thing I want to say about moles, however, is that even though I'm kind of writing these off as normal and simple and everything, uh, they can persist. You know, you should still follow the patient with HCGs after you take one of these out. They still may be partly within the uterus. The a placenta can be partially molar, what they call a partial mole, or could entirely look like this mole, what they call a complete mole. But in the differentiation of whether a mole is a mole or a choriocarcinoma, the single most important histologic, histopathologic principle would be to take this trophoblast out here and out here. And you say, how much does it invade? So if you were to find trophoblast like this deep within the myometrium, even if it looked as nice as it does over here, uh, you can probably call it a choriocarcinoma. If on the other hand, uh, it's entirely limited to tissue that is not within the myometrium, and is strictly in the placenta. You so you take out the placenta, it looks like a bunch of grapes. Then you could just call it a, a hydatid mole. And sometimes a really best way to determine is just to follow these patients after they give uh, birth or the um, abortion, and um, uh, see if their HCG level uh, falls like it normally should. Thank you very much.